Oh, there they are. I can see them. Here's the brand new animal. In that flying V formation. So cool to actually see birds in the game. All right, guys. Welcome back to Call of the Wild. So there's a few things that I want to tell you guys before we actually get this underway today. The first thing, in the previous episode, I did say to you all that I lost my save. The good news is, after like six hours of trying, I'm back at level 50 again. So I got it back and I got my credits back. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is obviously with this update, they brought with it decoys, which you can actually use your credits to buy more of them. So I think that's going to be a thing going forward when the devs implement more DLC, obviously more changes in the game. I think that's what more players want in general anyway. All right, because I don't want to take too long with this, because if anyone's heard about how the drop went for the DLC and the update with the new goose added to the game, you'll know that there's been some problems with Call of the Wild as of late. So the chance of the game crashing is very high. Let's take a look at the hardware. So shotguns. Okay, there it is, the Strecker. Look at that thing. And that's the Fiona as well, the one that I really liked from when the devs kind of showcased it all off. So we got the Fiona, we've got the Raven. Oh, I like that too, that matte finish. They're so loud. The geese are actually really, really loud. And the Hazel. Oh, I like that one as well. It's got like a walnut finish on it. How different is this thing to the Steward? So the only two things that I can see really changing there is reload speed. So the Strek is a lot slower to reload, but hip shot is a hell of a lot more powerful. Hip shot is 95 on this. All right, let's keep going. Again, guys, I'm going to try and whiz through this bit just so we can take a look at the animal because the amount of people reporting that there's a big issue in the game, even though the devs have literally just released a patch, I don't want to take any chances. So shotgun ammo, what have we got? So this is obviously for the new rifle. We got the bird shot, we've got the book shot and a slug. Okay, nothing else is too much or nothing I don't think has changed. Yeah, no, this was all the same as last time. So we've got the actual weapons, we've got the ammo. Where would the decoy, there we go. Oh, they've added it under lures, so just added decoys under lures. And this is the stuff I was telling you guys about with the credits. You can actually buy these, which it seems a little bit steep. Unless that's like a bundle of decoys, that's really expensive. 4,000. I hope it's not just for one. But we've got the feeding stance, we've got the searching stance, and the sentry. They look really cool though, and obviously we've seen what they look like from when the devs showcased it. I really want to see what they look like in game. Oh, the actual name for the actual bird is Canada Goose. I'd seen that floated around, but I'd never actually paid attention to it. Okay, so I guess we could call them Canadian Goose from now on, or Canada Goose. And what else did we get? We got that really cool blind. Anything in this? Clothing? Nothing in backpacks. Layout blinds. There we go. 16,000. That's not cheap. So I hope this thing does the business. The ultimate blind for bird hunting in pastures and fields. Once deployed, it provides excellent visibility concealment for hunters looking to get the jump on fowl. For 16,000, I hope it does as well. All right, guys. So we've pretty much seen the paid DLC that we're getting in the game. Now it's time. Where are these guys? They're so loud. There they are. They're just flying through the tree line. Now it's time to head out and take a look at the actual animal themselves. I'm going to load up, make sure I've got everything I need. I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, guys, we're back. If you remember the previous episode when we watched the devs try and entice the geese to land, they were in these wide open fields. And I think the reason for that is so the actual animal itself doesn't get obstructed by anything in the way like the trees and stuff. I can hear them. They're over there somewhere, I think. I can't actually get a fix on them when they're in the sky. It's really difficult to see them. And here's something over there too, and over this side. Are we going to actually see them fly by? There they are. I don't know if you guys can see them. Over there in the sky. Now, the animations do look a little bit derpy still. I think that is going to get fixed in time. I mean, at the end of the day, this is their first pass at adding birds to Call of the Wild. So, I mean, I mean, from a distance, it does look okay, but it's when you zoom in like this, they do look like really glitchy and stuff, which is why I don't want to waste any time. I'm going to keep saying that in this episode. Slot number one, obviously, which is the weapon you guys have just seen, 
is obviously the Fiona or the Strecker. And I want to see if there's an animation with this because with every rifle... Oh, wait. I thought it was about to do it. With every rifle, usually when I ADS... Oh, they're coming this way. Look at them. I think it's really cool how they're in that V formation as well. Which way are they going? Over that side? It's actually really good news that they're flying over this. Oh, look at that. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed that. There's like a pattern on the side of the barrel on the Strecker. Let me hold still a sec, see if he does it again. When he rotated his wrist outwards, you could see like the side of the barrel. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, he did one, but it wasn't the same animation, right? ADS real quick. I want to show you guys that because the pattern on the side of this barrel, it's really nice looking. And there's like an oil effect on the metal. Come on, do it. It's not going to do it, is it? Please. Nope. I knew it'd do that one. Every single time. Whenever I want anything in this game, it never goes the right way. Okay, so slot number one, obviously the Strecker, the brand new shotgun. Slot number two is this bright red caller. Now, I've never heard it yet. I mean, I've heard a little bit from the dev stream, but we're going to test it ourselves. Here we go. Oh, my God. It's literally just a quick squeak. Does it do it for the second call? Okay, that was a little bit longer, but... I mean, I guess that's all you need with the geese. I wonder if you spam it. Does anything happen? Oh, there we go. That was longer. I mean, I love the look of this thing. Is it going to be stuck in this animation now? Is it literally glued to my lips? Come on, Carla, get off. Slot number one. There's definitely some issues in the game at the moment, guys, but we're going to power through them. There we go. Used our Jedi mind control to try and teleport into our hands. But actually, the look of this thing looks really nice. Like the color of it and stuff. All right, so slot number four is... I can't remember the names of these again. I'm going to have to have a look at them. So if we go to equipment, is it Lowe's? So we've got the feeding, searching, and sentry. So feeding is this one that we've got. Searching is the one with its neck stretched, and sentry is the one with its head up. So this one's feeding. So let's just start dotting them down. So one there. One there. One there. I'm going to try and mix them up a little bit too. It's actually really satisfied that sound that it's doing when you're placing them down. Wait, have we switched yet? No, this one's still feeding, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly the same. All right, let's just keep placing them down. Now, I do believe from what friends have told me and what I've seen from you guys when you've sent me messages and pictures on Twitter of you actually getting the geese, that you actually have to place down quite a lot. I think something in the range of 20 or something is like the best idea. All right, so this is the different one. Let's place. Is that attracting them in already? Oh, no, no, I've not got my layout blind yet. Let's try and be quick with this. Place you down there. Now, I don't know if it has any effect if you try and cover a larger area like that, or if they're grouped up, if it works better when they're grouped up. So let's just keep placing them down. I mean, they're not perfect, but they definitely don't have to be. And this one is the sentry one. Look at that. You can actually see it when I'm holding it. So one there, one there, one there like this. Get one in the middle over that side. I don't want them to land. I'm trying to get this done before they actually come in and get spooked. This animal is brand new to me, so I don't know how it reacts if it actually spots me in the area. Just keep throwing some down. When you actually look at this, look how many of them there are. Look at this. There's no way they won't come in. So slot number eight, I should have my layout blind, and there it is. So I think what I'm going to do, should I place it like right in the center? Because I don't know if the geese are going to actually land around the decoys or, like, opposite to them, you know? I think the best thing for me to do, then, is, like, place that there. And I think we're good to go. Wait, can I place another? Wait, you actually get two blinds? I think I might have bought one. I don't know. Yeah, I think I bought one instead. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. I think I bought one of the blinds and not realizing that I actually get one with the DLC. Okay, it's no big deal. Let's actually get in this thing. Oh, look at it. Wait, why am I not inside? I thought it showed on the live stream that you were inside it. So this is the way it's supposed to be then, with your head kind of poking out. Just dead still. 
I actually really like this. Looks like a bed. Just looks like we're chilling for 15 minutes, just getting some rest in. Right, what does it look like if you ADS? If you right click like that, then you kind of burst out. So close it down, burst out. And it's actually pretty quick too. So I'm going to turn to my left. I'm just doing this for testing purposes. I'm going to turn out. I hear them again. Wait, let's see if we can bring them in then. We might as well. I mean, I'm already in the blind. That actually re sounded really nice. That was a lot clearer than the other one. Oh, wait, wait. Are these guys going to come in? These guys are a lot closer than the other ones were before. See, I don't know how this caller works as well. Like, if you spam it too much... Oh, wait, wait. I think they might be coming in. Come on, geese. You know you want to do it. I don't know what that call is. That that kind of little chicken noise it makes. Oh, wait, I think they're trying to land. Oh, my God, this one is like... There they go. They're landed. And then... Oh! Wait, why have they taken off again? Why have they taken off again? I don't understand that. They landed, and then all of a sudden, they freaked out. Did they work out that these weren't real geese? Or is that part of the problem at the moment? Is that is that what the actual geese are doing? Are they landing and they're just taking off again? I want to get a good look at them. I don't just want to take one down straight away. I want to get a look at the animations and stuff. Right, I'm not going to move. I'm not touching my mouse. There we go. They're down. I've got one right there. Oh, no, they... So when you move your mouse a tiny bit, they actually do leave. Because that's what I'm taking from that. I literally moved my mouse like a couple of centimeters and they freaked out. Okay, so it's been a good amount of time since the geese actually flew off. Now, I don't know if the geese are working as intended right now. So I don't know if that was actually a thing where they just landed. And then if I move a tiny little bit, then they tend to fly off. But one thing that I'm noticing, which was a trend with the normal blinds is look at this. If you look to the lower right corner, I'm not completely invisible which should be the case in my opinion. I mean, I know my head's poking out and I am moving around, but when I'm still, if I make subtle movements like this, I don't think that that should show a flat line. I think it should be completely invisible, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, I don't really know at this stage what I've got to do. I'm every now and again, I'm just letting out like a few calls like this. To see if I can bring something in. But I don't know if they're going to come back. I don't know if I've missed my chance, guys. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, look, there's no pressure or anything. There's just a crap ton of decoys. Actually, let me see. Can we pick these up? Dismantle. So you can actually pick it up. Let me spread them out a little bit. Maybe if I move them, it might help bring the geese back in. But it's been like a good five minutes since I was last with you guys when we saw them fly off. So... I mean, we may as well try something. But that seemed to work. When they were all, like, grouped up like this, it did seem to bring them in. Maybe I've just got to wait for them to come back, like, kind of circle around, you know, their formation of flight. Put one over there. Put this one, like, a little bit closer. Maybe I'll attract it to it. I think I put the blind the wrong way. Can I? I can't actually pick this up. Crap. I guess this is actually good enough. All right, I think what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to be patient. I'm going to try and bring them back in and I'll bring you guys back once I see some more geese. So I'll see you all in a second. Here we go. Wait. Go down, goose. Oh, that reload animation is so cool. Right, okay. So they look like they're out of the area again. Let me see. Can I not get out of this? Every now and again, it's like... There we go. Where did my geese go? 
So the, those guys are taking off again. That's not a goose, is it? Okay, you can't actually take down the birds with this rifle. At least I don't think you can. All right, confirmed trophy. Let's take a look at it. So we got ourselves a silver. Trophy rating 6.1. It was a male. What's that? A keeled sternum. So this is all new to me. Like, I don't know different parts of a goose. Like, the one thing that I know nothing about is pretty much birds. Like, when I see stuff like this, I'm going to have to pay very close attention. I've just got a tier 1 for something as well, which I don't know if that's a bug, but that's been happening in the game quite a lot. But we got ourselves a silver. Score is 742. I'm quite happy with that. Let's right-click. Oh, they kept it in the game. Okay, I'm so happy that they did that. Look at this. You can actually see... Oh, there's more coming in. There's more in the area. Get back into the layout blind, quick. Quick, quick, quick. I'm just going to see if I can bring a few more in. They look like they're rotating over that way or circling around that side. Okay, so I think I found out what one of the bugs looks like. So you can see this. You see how they're just stopped in midair like that? If I zoom out, you can actually see it really clear. So you can kind of see them flying just like that. And when they spread their wings out, are they going to do it? Look, you see how they just freeze in midair? <laughs> All right, let me grab the collar again. Let me see if I can bring these two down. Something really weird was happening. It sounded like there was a goose that had landed that was making calls while I was in the layout blind. Are they actually going to come down? I should have brought a different rifle with me as well, but I was carrying so much equipment, I don't think I've got the space. Look at that, you can just see them freezing midair. It would be nice if you could catch them like this, even though they, they look broken at the minute. If you could catch them in this state and make them land, it would be nice, because at least we could get a look at them. I think what I'm going to do, because I did just take a shot at that one goose that we did take out, it has added some pressure in the area, so I might switch to like a... Oh, wait. I might switch to like a different field or something, maybe go a little bit further towards the east. I'm hearing more coming in, though. There we go. Okay, they're coming into land. Right, I'm going to keep completely still. Now, there is pressure in this area, so I don't know how that's going to affect them. Switch to number one, switch to number one. Here we go. Okay, I think I got... Quick, reload, reload. Quick shot. Oh, no, what's going on? The animation's broken. Okay, I definitely clipped one flying off, but I think... Yeah, we did. We got two. And I don't know if that was with one shot. Oh, there's some more coming in. Get back in the blind. I've got to admit, though, guys, it is a lot of fun doing this. It's completely different to anything that we've done before in Call of the Wild. And I know, I know a lot of people are going to be frustrated at the fact that the game crashed and obviously the geese were acting up. But once they fine-tune this and they roll out a couple of patches i'm sure it's going to be fine like the geese the animations will be all good being able to find some high level geese would be nice as well i'm not going to be able to bring these guys in yep all right they're already flying off all right let's take a look at what we got then so what are you another silver 5.1 so this one was smaller and if you're wondering how i'm doing this by the way it's just right click this is one of the things that i pointed out in the previous episode I really like that. I hope they've implemented that for the rest of the animals, which we will test in another video. But we got ourselves another male. 100, 100, 100. If you're wondering the actual ammo that I'm using, I'm using the bird shot, obviously, for this one. 655. Five. Okay, I can't complain at that. I've already got three geese. So what's this one? Oh, we got ourselves a bronze. It had to happen. We couldn't keep it up. So we got ourselves a female. 4.1. 100, 100, 100. I mean, I'll still take it. The whole point today was just to test this thing worked. I'm not seeing any more, but I'm hearing them. It's really confusing. I've got to say, like, when, when you see the ambient birds and you hear the geese, your eyes are automatically drawn to these guys. But as you can tell, these are already in the game. These are not the geese. Right, I think what I might do then... Have I still got another blind? 
I do. And I've got a crap ton of cash. So I think what I might do is go back to an outpost, buy some more of these. You see, I could just dismantle them and move them over to that field. Yeah, no, I'm going to go back to an outpost. I'm going to leave this here, this setup here. I'm going to let the pressure actually cool down. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the pressure now. I'm going to let the pressure cool off. Is there more coming in? Oh, there's one there. He's completely broken. I wonder what the limit is. Oh, I hit it! Reload, reload, reload! I can get that! Wait, why are you not going down? Is this one of the invincible ones? I have seen people talk about these... ...the geese and how some of them just don't go down. This is a god goose. Go down, goose, go down. I think if I get it low enough, I might be able to get it. Look at this! Goose, give it up, please, give it up. Look at it though, at least we get to get a look at it. If I put the rifle away. It's a sprint race. I'm winning. Oh wait, is it down? Oh no, it's just locking up. Look, it's freezing up. So the animation itself, it actually looks really good. I mean, aside from when it locks up like that, when it does that. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys about that. Hopefully they'll fix that soon. Are you going to go down? Oh, look at that. Bet you guys have never seen a goose fly that low before. <laughs> go Why will it not go down? Can I claim it? Goose. Stay still, please. Okay, we're going we're gonna to let it go. That's obviously broken. Alright, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to quickly run back to an outpost. I've already got another layout blind. So if I get myself a couple more decoys, I can set up in another field and see if we can bring some more in, at least without any pressure in the area. So I'll see you guys in a second. Where's that goose gun? Oh, that's actually really cool. Is the dog barking because it's heard the geese flying overhead? Oh wait, let me get back inside. All right guys, so we are now in a different field and as you can see, this one has got a few obstructions in the way, with these hay bales being around, and I'm only in a small pocket over here to the east. So I'm going to see if I can actually bring the geese in. And they're flying overhead, and I've got a different rifle with me as well, I've got the 22. Okay, that looked a little bit weird, the way they just snapped like 90 degrees. They've definitely got a little bit of way to go before they're working absolutely perfectly in the game, but... I mean, from what I've played so far, I've got to say, I've been enjoying myself. Okay, so what my plan is, I'm going to take the shot with Fiona. Then I'm going to take another shot with the 22 that I've got. So here we go, switch to number one. Have we got any close? They're quite far away. I can hear one stamping around, or like, behind me or something. Okay, there's one over there. We're gonna go for that one. Here we go. Okay, one down. Switch to the other one. Jump out, quick. Jump out! No, no, no! Oh, he's glitched. No, get out, please! Right, I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, you definitely can hit them. It's just that my, my aim was a little bit off. I'm definitely going to try that again, though. Let me get a little bit of vengeance on this ambient bird. Come here, bird. That's it. That's what the goose should have done. All right, let's see how we did. So we got ourselves another silver, another female, 624. And that time, it actually worked really well. I want to see if I can get one with this, though. Okay, so the geese actually get really high altitude really quickly and it makes it really difficult to spot them. I mean, look how far away those guys are. And they're the ones that I was just taking shots at. Also, you definitely have to lead your shot. If you don't lead your shot, you're not going to get a clean aim on it. So, there's that bird down. Exactly what I just did there, like in front of the bird, that's the kind of tactic you want to use on the geese when they're flying up because they're not flying straight across. They're kind of flying up 
at a diagonal. So you've just got to kind of compensate for that when you're taking your, sh taking your shot. Also, throughout this video, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the ambient sounds of the game seem a lot louder. Like, like you just heard the chainsaw, I heard like a tractor or a truck or something. I heard the dog barking when the geese were flying overhead. And I don't know if I prefer it this way. You know, like more going on in the background. All right, I think what I'm gonna do, if I got a lot of pressure here now, <laughs> I do as well. I think I'm still gonna stick here though and wait for like another group to come in before we end today. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, here we go. I've got another group coming in. Oh, they're really close too. All right, switch to number one. No, quick. Okay, we got one, nice. All right, let's see what we got. Confirm. Oh, we got ourselves a gold. Okay, I can't be bad with that. So we got ourselves a male, 7.48 kilograms. Fur type was common, 7.6. 864 as the total score. Where did I actually click this thing? It's not showing the line like it did on the dev stream, but when you do that, does that have any effect? I shot it in its wing. Because on the dev stream, it actually showed the shot on this vision as well. I mean, like I say though, guys, I can't be bad with that. Because I got my first gold goose. Where are these broken ones? I can hear them flying around. Let me see if I can take one of these guys out. You get like a hit marker when, when you hit them. And they're really hard to hit. Look at the altitude that they're getting. This is what I was talking to you guys about. Oh, there we go. And there's that hit marker noise. Come on. We can do it. We could do it. No, we can't because I've got to reload. I mean, I got a decent hit marker on one that was going rip. There's more ambient noise. I think it's a plane this time. Got a decent hit marker though with them at high altitude. So it can't be bad. And we got ourselves a gold. So, I mean, all in all, I've only really scratched the surface of how to bring the geese in. I'm sure there's going to be like loads of different ways. I wonder if they land on water as well. I didn't see anything in the dev stream about that, but I think it would be really cool if that's what they did. All right, let's take a look at this reload animation again. I love that. I mean, I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be angry at this because it was really broken when it first came out. And obviously, I mean, there's still elements of it that really still are broken because there's like goose that are flying around that just can't die. They're invincible. God geese. But I mean, for the most part, you can see what they can work off. We've got the brand new layout blind. We've got the decoys, which definitely do seem to work. And you've got like different variations of them. And the geese themselves, the animation from the geese, they're, they're really good. They're really clean. The problem is there's still a lot of issues with them, which I can understand people getting annoyed at. But I'm guessing over time the devs are going to fix that. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And send me a tweet of your best geese that you can take down. So far, that one was mine. I think it was a 7.8 and it was a gold. But I think, guys, it is time to end. Let me know what you guys think of the geese in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.